Here. Just last week, special counsel revealed additional charges against the former president and two of his aides in that classified documents case. NBC's Garrett Hack has the latest. These are ridiculous indictments. Donald Trump's legal battles in the spotlight and racking up costs. A key court appearance from a new Trump co-defendant, Mar-a-Lago property manager Carlos de Oliveira. He, along with Trump and an aide, facing federal charges related to the former president's handling of classified documents after leaving the White House. Prosecutors say Mr. Trump asked de Oliveira to delete security camera footage at the estate to obstruct the investigation. Mr. Trump and his aide Walt Nata pleaded not guilty to the original indictment last month. It's a great badge of honor because I'm being indicted for you. As the former president could face indictment this week over another case, his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. And it all comes at a price for Mr. Trump and his supporters. The Washington Post reporting that his political group spent more than $40 million on legal costs in the first half of 2023 to defend Trump, his advisors, and others, according to people familiar with the matter. But he remains the Republican frontrunner. Mr. Trump's fiercest Republican critic, 2024 rival Chris Christie, evoking the godfather to mock the GOP frontrunner over the classified documents case. It's pretty brazen. The, the, these guys were, were acting like the, um, uh, the Corleones with no experience. But two of Mr. Trump's Republican opponents say they're inclined to pardon him if he is convicted. I don't want there to be all of this division over the fact that we have a president serving years in jail over a documents trial. I would pardon him. The former president now threatening fellow Republicans who don't share his appetite for revenge against President Biden and the Justice Department. Any Republican that doesn't act on Democrat fraud should be immediately primaried and get out. Out. Now we are staying on top of this investigation. You can get updates on the 11 Alive News app. Just download it from your app store.